Welcome back, everybody. Time for our Tech Tuesday segment. Joining us once again is Attila Ceres, our uh, head team leader from the Geek Squad over at Best Buy. And today we have nothing in studio to put our hands on, but we're going to try to wrap, wrap our brains around something that's really cool. I wasn't really privy to it until you started talking about it, but it's an air-powered car. This is some cutting-edge tech stuff right here. What is an air-powered car? Well, believe it or not, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's right. a car that runs on compressed air. Okay, how's it work? <laughs> well, it's, it takes the compressed air that it can pick up from the environment. And here it is now. We got some video of it in a prototype stage. You got it. And uh, it's being developed in the uh, south of France by a small uh, privately held company. It's called MDI. Uh, its inventor is Guy Negre, and he's an ex-Formula One mechanic. Oh, okay. And uh, he found that the Formula One cars were initially started by compressed air. So he said, well, why don't we take this and build a whole car around it? So uh, over the past, uh, I guess, about 15 years, he's taken uh, this air-powered engine and put it into small things like taxis, postal delivery uh, cars, little trucks, and even a little convertible. Um, so, All right. so I guess with the, with the hybrid cars and the battery-operated cars, the first question that anybody would probably ask is, okay, but do they perform? Do they only go 12 miles per hour, or do, can you get them out there on the road? Well, these were designed to go in city environments okay. where you're not going to be going that fast. You're going to be sitting in traffic, someplace uh, that might be applicable, say, here. Um, and so the idea is that they only go about 68 miles per hour in its current stage, and it goes about 120 miles on a one tank of air. Now, you have to remember that that tank of air is pretty inexpensive to refuel. So for about 2 to $3, you can fill up this tank. Um, oh. Now, what's funny about this whole thing is that this sounds all cutting edge and new, uh, but it's been around for a long time. Yeah. Uh, compressed air locomotives were around since the 1850s, and they were used in coal mines where you couldn't have a coal-driven, you know, furnace down there. Otherwise, so the whole place creating would... fumes and. Mm -hmm. heat. All right. Well, let's, sorry, are we going to see them on the road anytime in the the short term? or medium-term future? Well, I really hope so. These kind of uh, compressed air vehicles are getting a lot of attention. And they're not the only outfit out there. There's another one out of Australia that's uh, targeting uh, grocers where they have a, a lot of uh, food that they're handling in close proximity. And uh, so you don't want to get those fumes into the food themselves. Okay, gotcha. Okay, uh, we've been talking about questions from our viewers every week, mm -hmm. encouraging John from Hawaii Kai. He's got a question, and this is a good one. You buy an HD TV, which he just did a big screen, says, do I really need an HDMI cable? If so, how much do I need to spend? And, and I know this because when I bought my HD, they said, oh, you need an HDMI. I said, okay. And they go from 25 to 140 bucks. Convenience because it's five cables wrapped into one, right? You got it. So and it's worth getting an HDMI cable. It, it is worth getting an HDMI cable. However, be aware that usually when you get your uh, HD service from, say, Time Warner, they're going to give you your, your red, green, blue component cable plus an audio cable, five five plugs, uh, and you can either purchase an HDMI cable on your own expense, or they'll provide it, you know, a component and, option for you. And a big difference between the 25 version or the ones that say, oh, it's gold or copper or this, and it's 150? It depends on your, uh, your existing equipment. So if you have really high-end equipment, you'll probably notice a difference. If you have sort of a medium or low-range equipment, it's probably not going to make that big but of a difference to the normal to viewer, to our eye and ear, mm, probably not going to notice it. Well, my eyes are going, so you know. <laughs> All right. So don't, you don't need to buy the most expensive, but probably don't need to buy the cheapest, somewhere in the maybe the lower middle range. Sure. Anywhere uh, $40 on up is probably the... Uh, that's a good place to start. All right. Good deal. And we want to encourage everybody to send your questions in, because if you send them, a tech question to News 8 Today at If we read your question on the air, you're going to get a $20 gift certificate to Best Buy. So John in Hawaii Kai, you just got yourself a gift certificate. Suresh, Attila Suresh, thank you very much. And uh, look for those air-powered cars maybe coming to a roadway near you soon. I hope so. All righty. Thank you, sir. Stick around. Much more to come, including traffic right now.